Cups Finals. Both of them with a long and troublesome road here as Grid Plumber fought through the Min Min Gauntlet and Nick District. All you have to take out was like King Robo and a couple other PR players. So both of them with a long trip to the almost the top of the mountain, the precipice, the penultimate valley of winners finals here. Projectile game plan is out here, and Nick is definitely going to try to play around that deep breathing here, choosing when to advance in. It's really going to be what can Squid do in the corner. Like, that's the strength of this character in the Belmonts is corner pressure, and the strength of Weefa Trainer is kind of like playing from the corner. So it's a bit of strength on strength, and I'm interested to see who will be able to win this clash. The deepest of breaths here does get hit by the cross on the backside, so Jesus does not approve. Double hit by that cross, actually. So this is, uh, yeah, a bit of a blasphemous game plan from Nick District 14 so far. Finally does get the tilt, but cannot land that up air. And deep breathing already gone. Yeah, this is this is the trouble section right there. What? No, very few characters have the ability to respond to Belmont pressure on the ledge. And uh, yeah, we are we are struggling all of a sudden. No deep breathing here. So toss him off stage here. Should not do it quite yet. Good DI from Mick District. He knows this matchup for sure. Bit of an optimistic dash grab right there by Squid, but I'm surprised that Nick missed his fastball on that back air right there, because usually Nick is, like, he understands exactly when he needs to hit those and get that stock early. But uh, a bit of a misfire from both players, so we're resetting back to neutral, or what passes for it in this match. Again, a strong hit from Nick, but not quite strong enough, and Squid gets another chance to play around in the corner here, deploying that planking game plan that he has to just burn a little bit of that deep breathing. One back air, and then the up air again. He's just not getting these sweet spot hits. His Nick, these fastballs are just slightly off. He does finally manage to land the stock, so no extra credit. We are keeping it very even here. Yeah, down air just about safe on shield. The drift more than enough to go ahead and avoid. We fit trainer minus deep breathing. The axe. I really thought that at first axe was going to connect. Instead, the second one does. Or just about. Does get the back air right there. And then a great back throw using that grab armor to deal with the cross. Definitely going to need to be a key tool to work around in this matchup. He's breathing active yet again, so perhaps look for Haymaker here is Nick, but not going to get too much out of that just one dash attack. That's really the problem with, uh, with deep breathing on Weefa Trainer. Like, if any other character had this, they'd be sick as hell. But Weefa Trainer gets, like, some options, but the combo game isn't really improved all that much. And because the combo game is, like, really, like, one to two hits, like, at most we're getting a three-piece out of Weefa Trainer, like, you don't get a chance to benefit consistently from deep breathing. You get one hit, and then it's a reset, and you have to go ahead and chase him down yet again. You might have a little bit of increased dash speed from that cardio power-up of deep breathing, but it's not quite enough. And what a weak hit on that soccer ball. I see what Nick was going for, and I love it. Nick on the final stock right here as Squid Plumber trying to seize game one. But that planking, again, just beautiful options here. Nick is, he understands the matchup very well, and we're seeing a lot of unorthodox tools being utilized. Okay, I thought that was greedy. Like, Nick will sometimes get caught off stage being a little bit greedy with the deep breathing, but not quite right there. A little bit of safe shield pressure to yet another tilt to that stock. Now, come to think of it, it is more of an oolong thing to get killed off stage for attempting deep breathing. Nick is a little bit more, uh, shall we say, precise with his placements. Ooh, we actually get the, the reset there, but unable to make anything out of it because uh, we the trainer struggle sometimes. Deep breathing off stage yet again. Axe not out back here, not going to connect. Neither is the forward tilt. So Squid Plumber swings a couple times and unable to connect and seal this stock off. So instead, 
been playing a little bit passively against WeFit with deep breathing, which is exactly what you want to do. Good Bummer trying to sign Nick the game one loss. You're trying to protect this lead. It doesn't get a spike hitbox, but not quite going to claim the stock yet again. We're running into trouble here. Back air, back air. Squid just begging and praying for one of these hitboxes to connect, but so far, Nick has really been untouched for a concerning amount of time. As soon as I say it, as soon as I say it. So, yeah, Squid Plumber able to seal that game off. And perhaps a good pattern to pick up on here because this has been a matchup that Squid Plumber has struggled with. If you head on over to PG Stats, you'll see that these two are, or Squid Plumber specifically, is two and six against Nick District, but I know that they've played more than that. <laughs> they have definitely played a couple more than eight sets. In addition, Nick District has apparently won the last three, dating back to Smash Tag 44, which would be about five months ago. So yeah, despite the fact that we may not have that many tournament sets on record, I know these guys have played a ton more. Getting back into it, I highly doubt we'll ever see a character count pick here unless they both decide to go random. And unfortunately, they will probably never go off of PS2 because for some reason people like this stage. I swear to God, I'm not, one of these days I'm going to run a monthly and it's just going to be PS2 banned. And if you like try to select PS2 or even hover over it, you're banned. Permanently. Gets the neutral layer there and no tech on Nick's side, so we're still in the corner. I am stunned that holy water did not hit. Gets the grab off of the errant and down air. Dash tackle and intercept the jump opportunities. And we're fully charging that, but Nick District had some kind of SDI right there. We got that Gimmer Tech right there, that Twin Stick going perhaps? I am not sure. So this one looking a little bit more like I would expect here as Nick District opens up a big lead. This is definitely one of those matches where I expect that the first stock matters a little bit more than the rest of them because whoever gets that first one can play a little bit more defensively. Like I, I do feel like the tools are there for both characters where you the game plan is going to change too much depending on who's in the lead, but it's going to be enough where like Nick can like fade back a little bit more with things like sensitizations. You don't see that too much when Nick is um, in a big disadvantage. 178. But Weep the Trainer does sometimes struggle to kill without that deep breathing. We're seeing it here. Great little, I wasn't even a pivot grab, just a little turnaround grab from Squid. I love like watching little things like that, like micro walks and great spacing. So what was a huge lead for for Nick has devolved into a bit one where like we are liable to kill from a few of these areas. But Oh, no, we do have the jab reset. We're actually just doing triple jab after it. If that must be max damage. Again, this character doesn't really have too many lead-ups. So it's either going to be that or it's going to be like falling up air. And there may be a bit of an awkwardness in the character model. The axes are out, and that's going to kill Stunning all the way from below the, black, the stage. Excuse me. That shield damage too. Even just the tilts, it's just so annoying if you don't have the disjoint that can punish it out of shield. They just do that for free. It's like, hey, I'm just gonna take a third of your shield away. Hope this is cool, and then you can start going for pokes against taller characters and things like that. Here. Ooh, now I see what Squid was trying to cook right there, but it's unfortunately, a little bit overdone. So now Squid yet again in the corner. This is out, blocked by the soccer ball. A little bit good parry for the second one. Salute the sun. Sun salutation yet again here. And yeah, we are seeing Squid. I don't want to say he's being optimistic. He's just being aggressive. The second that uh, that Nick's in disadvantageous position, Squid is like he's he's extending as much as possible, and you can see why. Nick has been in disadvantage for a solid like 45 seconds right there, and Squid managed to go ahead and seal the stock out of it. It does feel like neutral has been advantage Nick, but how do you solve that? Just never allow neutral to occur. Make it so that you are in advantage all the time. Simple. 
Down air into drag down. No, actually not getting the fastball. Instead, just the full hit of the neutral air. So no combo follow-up attempt from Squid. Instead, what a confirm right there. We went from having a somewhat even game to a dominant Squid Plumber victory in less than a heartbeat. That was like literally two or three interactions. Nick Cut would be the one opportunity to toss out a projectile and Squid's like, no, this, this is my game. This is my set. This is my night. Now this is gonna be difficult because despite the fact that Nick has the advantage in the matchup, I, I wanna point out that if Squid wins this, even if Nick fights through loose bracket, he gets some killers right now. That means that you're gonna have to win two more against Squid Plumber. So that is, it's difficult to go two and one when you lose the first set. So we'll have to see if Nick District has the reverse 3-0 in him right here. Squid Plumber playing with a bit of fire this evening at the grind. And as soon as I say that, he almost air dodges to his death. Thank God that was a neutral air dodge. Cross is out, down tilt is out as well, claiming a ton of space, and that is a great trade for Nick right there. Sun salutation for the one or two hits of the fire. Yeah, it doesn't do a ton of damage. I'll take that in day of the week. Patience from Nick, not trying to overextend with that, and it actually reads the roll into the down smash. The problem is that that was not a good move. <laughs> like, I, I, I try to sugarcoat things, but that, that's, that's not a great move. So Nick had the right idea, but down smash having limited range, to say the least. Ooh, great spike there. I'm digging that. Good stuff, Nick. Not able to make too much out of it. And then it gets two feet set and takes that stock right away. And 139 here with deep breathing. Nick is uh, putting Squid on notice here. But what can we make out of it? Not too much, just 15% as Squid swinging a wee bit too aggressive. And Nick gets the clean. That was a cool little setup right there with the cross returning. I think that covered just about every tech option. With the hitbox added from Squid, of course. Of course. Nick is very unhappy too. He's a very emotive player, and he usually gets like super mad at himself when he has like small tech clubs or mistakes. And you can kind of see the tilt starting to set in right there. A lot of like head bobs, a lot of shake. Look at the right there, like wheels back in his chair, viscerally responding to guessing incorrectly at edge. Toss him off stage again, again, a bit of an unhappy situation. And Nick very nearly gets cleaned off with that hack. Instead, the up B errant as well. And yeah, it has been all squid this set. Easy to see why Nick is not really feeling it all of a sudden. Smash again, not going to connect here. Stuck in the holy water. We get the up smash. Not quite going to kill, but Nick on notice right here. This might not be his night. Good catch of the holy water, and then trying to make something out of it. But actually, the air dodge down. Yeah, that was a greedy up B for sure. But again, Nick didn't have deep breathing, so I don't think he was ever going to get a stock in that situation. I, I'm kind of mad that that didn't kill. Like, he got the stock anyway, but that footstool is kind of brilliant. It's set up for, like, a, a recent situation. Nick just shielded it and then, like, down smash something. I'm sure this character has something because I down tilt it's edge. That would have been a spot, but just not a favorable situation. So now Nick has to play perfectly, and uh, we've seen him do it before, though. Don't stand get up, I'm begging you. Yeah, good stuff there, fading back. Cross is out, axe is out. What are we going to do? Header again, aggressively stuck on the platform, but cannot get the second header. We are air dodging to get out of that situation. Great defensive options from Nick all of a sudden. Now full reversal. Squid has to be really, really careful here. We may not have deep breathing, but Max Rage, Sweep the Trainer, definitely not something to underestimate. Max Rage and deep breathing? Oh, it might even be even scarier. Gospel off Shadezo, that very well should do it. No, oh, great TI from Nick, and I'm a liar. Excuse me for thinking that Sweep the Trainer might die at 200. Sub 200. After 200, we're good, though. 3-0 for Squid Plumber, and execution was just on point on Squid's side. We saw Nick shaking his head a couple times, perhaps unhappy with how that one came to be. All right, what's good, Raph? You stepping up to try to cast a couple? You still in uh, in Redemption? Oh, no, Raph is out. I use, right, I'll push over a wee bit. I used the, uh, use the Game & Watch. I saw. Yeah, I did the same thing. I'm working on my secondaries today. Who's your secondary? Uh, I'm, I'm having fun with Instant, so I'm playing Instant. Okay. I got me right. two uh, winner's finals, and then I, I I played like one set of K-Roll, and my freaking hand went numb. Oh, man. Anytime it's like 
I have to do confirm and stuff like that. It's it's like okay, I need to be able to feel my thumb. Right. <laughs> so when I lose control over my muscles, it's like well maybe I should just play Cable. That says something <laughs> about the character, doesn't it, folks? I I, I guess so. <laughs> Cable doesn't have combos or confirms. He has reads. He does have reads. He, exactly. That is a hard read character there. So. Yeah. It's like I, I like round one. My round one, I like died. I got zero to death, and I almost got zero to death again. And then I just read a double jump and got a back air kill at six. I'm like we're back in this. <laughs> nice. Are you wait? So are you still in? Yeah, I'm in losers finals now. Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. I, I've I've entered two redemptions total at the at the grinds, and I've won at one, and this is the second. This is the second redemption ever. Yeah, I, I just don't do redemption that frequently because I hop on to do combat. Fair. That is fair. All 